everyone, this is Michael from Maui. Aloha. So today I wanted to talk about don't stand up straight when you're throwing the disc. <laughs> I watch a lot of the people come through here and play because I like to analyze what they're doing to tell, you know, like how are people throwing. So, you know, I could watch them and I notice almost everybody who comes through here and plays they're all throwing standing up. You know, very seldom are they bent over. But it's very, very important to throw bent over. Bent over is the only way to properly release the disc to generate the snap. When you throw standing up, you know, even from, you know, not a fast run up, just a, you know, walk in is how everybody does it. You know, at least here. <laughs> so as you come in, they're all standing up here straight. You know, and then they pull their arm out here like one stiff arm, you know, one straight arm out here. And then the shoulders rotate open and they throw the disc from here. So they're just out here with it and you come around. But you'll notice when you throw that way, you can't snap your wrist. The disc is too far away from your body to get a snap on it if you're throwing straight up and down. I call it a helicopter throw. But if you're out here, you can't generate a snap because it's too far from your body to get the wrist to snap. You have to throw bent over. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a lot. It just has to be enough that your shoulders rotate up this way, not this way. The reason is when it goes this way, it allows your disc to come closer to your body. So I'm here bent over as I pull the disc you can see it's under my face here it's not out here so the disc comes through here you know and the shoulders will rotate up and what's happening is the elbow pulls into your hip here so I'm bent over elbow comes here to my hip so this is what I was saying, you're, it's like your arm is two parts to your throw of your arm. Number one, upper arm pulls to the hip. So bent over, elbow pulls down to the hip. As the shoulders drive up this way, your fore, forearm and your wrist go out that way. So you can see how that works in two parts. Elbow down, shoulders up, this way. Forehand, forearm, and the hand push out, this way. Like that. So there, rotates around. Finish. And the reason you need those two parts to the throw here because from here elbow here shoulders up so from here to here is the throw that's the power that's it that's the hit so when you're here elbow in shoulders going up the faster you can throw your forearm straight is the snap on the disc. The faster I can go from here to here is gonna snap my wrist, you know, harder. So I'm here, and then the faster here throws the disc. That's the throw, is from here to here. You can see the throw is from elbow in, so the front of my face to the release. I mean, that's it, right here. This is the throw, right there. The speed of the throw does not start back here. 
you know, because you bend your elbow, you know. So when I bend my elbow to here, you know, I, it basically stops. You know, I'm here, I pull here, and now as my shoulders come up this way, that's what relaunches your arm out. So here, shoulders are driving up, and now that allows my forearm to shoot through. And like I say, the faster you can rotate your shoulders up and then snap, you know, that's the throw right there. So you have to throw bent over to get any wrist snap on your disc. Because if you're throwing straight up and down, the disc is too far away from your body and your shoulders are opening, you know, so you get no snap on the disc. The only way to snap the disc is being bent over, pull the elbow down to the pocket, and then as your shoulders drive up, forearm snaps through right here and that's the throw so what I would recommend is just practicing that release come into your throw really slow reach back you know and just get right here but as soon as that elbow gets here just fast as you can rotate up and just practice that, right there. From here to there as fast as you can. You know, you just gotta think of it as, you know, in most sports you have to throw with a bent arm. A baseball pitcher doesn't throw with a straight arm. You know, he doesn't, you know, take the ball and come way down here and throw way up here. The pitcher, He's going to come in, he's going to drive with a bent arm and then extend it out afterwards. He's here, the lands the leg, and this arm's going to come in bent. It's not going to come in straight because he won't have any power. Comes in, step in, the arm comes in bent as you drive it through. And it's just like the disc. The elbow bends to allow the fore, forearm and hand to power through here. So I just recommend, you know, if you're throwing straight up and down, force yourself to just bend over. You know, at the beginning, just throw hyzers, you know, just throw a hyzer. You know, come in up here, you know, and just launch that thing on a hyzer to just get used to being on top. You know, then dial it back in for a flat. So anyways, I hope that helps describe the importance of throwing bent over. It's the only way to get the wrist to snap. So anyways, this is Michael from Maui. Aloha.